Well, it's August, which means we're just a few weeks away from the official start of the 2023 fall high school sports season with practices getting underway. Tonight, we begin our 2023 high school football previews by taking a look at a team that came up one win short of a state championship in 2022, the General Brown Lions. Coach Doug Black's team made it to the final week of the 2022 high school football season, losing 29 to 14 to James I. O'Neill in the state class C championship game at the JMA Wireless Dome in Syracuse. The Lions finished with an 11 and two overall record, five and one in class C2 play, but General Brown was hit hard by graduation and the 2023 version of the Lions will look much different than last year's team. Yeah, definitely want to kind of ride that momentum, but uh, with us, we're going to be replacing a lot. A lot of those key players for us are gone, so it's now trying to find those younger kids to plug in and, and see if they can fill those big shoes. On the offensive side of the ball, General Brown graduated three 1,000-yard rushers in Seamus Devine, Gabe Malcolm, and Caleb Natale but return quarterback Aiden McManaman, who threw for 815 yards and rushed for 577 yards last season. McManaman knows he'll have to step up his game this season in order for the Lions to be successful. Yeah, it's going to be tough lo um, losing all those really good running backs. and uh, I know I have a lot of pressure on me, and hopefully I can uh, take their spot and uh, do what they did. Heading into the start of fall practice, a number of starting spots will be up for grabs. And in order for the Lions to repeat their success from last season, the team will have to be strong on the offensive and defensive line. Uh, probably our run game should be okay. I mean, wingbacks are okay, not bad. QB is going to be good, but just hoping that we can get some good linemen back and look good. While the Lions will be looking to develop chemistry when fall practice begins, Black says there's another key ingredient the team will be in search of in order for them to have the same success that they had last season. I think it's going to be leadership's going to be the key. Graduated five All-State players, and they were great players, but they were also great leaders. Uh, that's, that's a big void for us, so try to find those key players that can, can lead the other kids is going to be big for us. Despite a lot of unknowns, the Lions will have a shot at defending their Section 3 Class C title this season.